advantage of. Fourth down and seven. Nab goes in motion. Sorensen standing tall, hit as he throws, incomplete. Behind Crawford Harris, and the Bears defense hold. Great pressure right there by Jalen Jefferson, one of those young freshmen. Second time the Bears have the ball. Stop Southern Utah on fourth down, and Cal stick to the running game. So fellow with room over the left side and pushes the ball up to midfield. That's the interesting thing. They really need to get him untracked because Sofele last week tended to run the ball up inside. He's an edge runner. It's just zone blocking. It's called the zone stretch. Get him outside and get up the field. Kevin Johnson's like you. He didn't worry about facilities. Playing in the old gym here at Cal. It's a false start against the Bears. And Sofele going to get a little pitch and get around the corner. Here comes another flag. Back to back plays. We've had penalties. After the play, personal foul, number 79, offense. 15 yard penalty, still second down. Bill Tyndall spelling Matt Summers Gavin, who's out this week. And Summers Gavin may be Cal's best offensive player. Correction, third down. The problem with that, Rich, is last week the same thing happened on the second play of the game. It was a young, Chris Adick, Adcock, who ended up getting a penalty late hit. And yeah, you want your offensive lineman to be aggressive, but you can't have stupid penalties like that. Third down and 21. Maynard going to try to do it himself, looking for some blocking downfield, gets it, and gets down the sideline. He'll have a cow first down. Sometimes you don't like to play freshman because they don't have that football IQ. Richard Rogers, whose dad played here at Cal in 82, watch the block he makes downfield to spring quarterback Maynard for an extra five or six yards. So Utah got off to a really slow start in the game against Utah State. And the Aggies played well into Gary Anderson out in Logan. Signature win last night. Here's another tackle for a loss for the Bears. They've gotten really good at that. Eight guys in the box because they're playing man to man. To the air on second and ten. Harper in a little space. Spins out of a pair of tackles and fights his way near the marker. Just as Coach Tedford said, and you mentioned earlier, those wide receivers have to be good blockers out there. It's not just about catching the ball. It's about being a blocker downfield, and they had excellent blocking downfield. Again, Richard Rogers getting it done. First down for the Bears. Maynard, a quick one. Connects his brother, Keenan Allen, and that's a really good story about these two and how they end up all the way out in Berkeley. Yeah. First and 15. Crawford Harris, the deep back. Play action. Sorensen pressure. Can't escape the second wave. To the air on third and 25. Pressure, and they got him again. Chris McCain coming in. Scarlett as well, and that pocket just collapsed immediately. It was his first start of his career last week, and, it, and the guy that just had the false start opened up too much. He gave him a bait him step to the outside and beat him across his face. One of the most beautiful campuses in the country. Looking up here on Tightwad Hill, great day. 109 yards to 26, but it's the two turnovers that are different so far. And penalties have been tough, too. It's Maynard going to come out throwing. Another nice reception. Harper has been busy in the first half of Cal. Cal going to move a little quicker now on offense. Tefeli looking for some room, and it'll bring the crowd back into this one. He's down near the 30. A little bit of the pistol look right there. 
singled out, be in the middle of a bunch formation to the right. Penalty marker down. Maynard's got a freebie, and he's going to go down the sideline and connect. Bears inside the 10. Harper one more time. Maynard's brother, Keenan Allen, might be, be getting a little bit upset because Harper's fast becoming Maynard's favorite target. Should be offsides against Southern Utah. Start the second quarter. Jeff Tedford has picked up the pace with his offense. Offside, number 58 of the defense. That penalty is declined. First down. One thing that you see with Maynard, when he starts moving, that's when he becomes more accurate. He's not a guy that will sit back there in the pocket and read defenses. So it's best when he can get moving around. First and goal. Go to the fullback and they grind it for a couple. Stevens, the senior with the carry. Deep back. Maynard play action on third and goal. Open receiver incomplete. Had Stevens, the fullback, open. Bit high. Good play action fake. And actually had two guys open because Richard Rogers was behind him a little bit deeper. Just missed a wide open fullback. D'Amato wanted to try for three. Tie this one up. Maynard and Tedford trying to get on the same page. And the Bears able to tie this one at three against Southern Utah. Numbers early from Maynard, 7 of 10, but you know, the one that got away, that one-yard pass just over the hands of Stevens, could have been a touchdown. Here's a big play, an explosive one the Bears need. So Villa explodes his way up past the 30. You listen to these offensive linemen all week long. They talked about being more physical, and that hole was ginormous. Pele again looking for a little room off a quick snap, bounces off the first tackler and moves it near the 40. Anderson on first and 10, another big hole. Stiff arm and down at the 25. Killebrew saved a score. Just a little stretch play to the outside. Excellent blocking by the tight end. Not only taking care of the edge, but then getting downfield, making another block. And smart play by Richard Rogers, the sophomore. Maynard surveying. On the move. Now on the run. Going to throw. Fele makes the catch and spins around, and he's down at the 12. Flag comes in. We mentioned it earlier. Zach Maynard, drop back passing has not been his strength. It's when he starts improvising back there that he seems to be most effective. This is a beautiful play right here. Absolutely his last option coming late, and good job by the Cal uh, receivers continuing to try and find an open spot. that bring back memories, Gary? First and goal for the Bears. Anderson cuts it up and finds the end zone. Tyndell, the guy that is substituting for Matt Summers Gavin, excellent block on the right side. Just continues to drive the man outside. He ends up getting two guys, and that's what opens it underneath for C.J. Anderson. A beautiful break.